Hello everybody, Sajin here. So uh, today I wanted to do a re review of uh, one of the Torchlighter series DVD and this one is uh, William Tyndale. So he, uh, his story was probably the first one that I actually watched out of the whole series and it uh, got me hooked on to the Torchlighter series ever since. So um, it was, I really recommend it. So basically, William Tyndale, he was um, maybe the first or one of the first people that uh, translated the Bible uh, into English. Um, and um, But at the time, it was actually illegal to translate the Bible into, any, uh, into English at that time. Uh, the Bible could only be interpreted... Uh, by the uh, officials of the church, the Christian church at the time, and um, it was all written in Latin, so the common people couldn't understand it. But um, um, so William Tyndale, he felt that uh, he had a, he felt a strong urge to really change that. So even though he knew that it was illegal and he could face death. He actually um, <clears throat> uh, worked on translating the entire Bible. So it shows uh, his hardships, how he um, fled from the uh, people that were trying to hunt him down. And um, so, so kind of a spoiler alert, but... Um, Unfortunately, at the end, he is caught, and then he's tried it as a heretic, and he's burned at the stake. So, but what was what really amazed me was that his final prayer was that, as he was being, um, in, in his case, he was a scholar. So scholars they um, they strangle them to death before they actually are burned. Um, and at that time, he was pray his last prayer was that God please help to open the king's eyes so that the Bible can be translated. So it's just amazing to see um, that till the very end, that was really his passion. And um, I, I felt I could learn so much from it. I was just seeing that. I was bawling at the end. So, <clears throat> so I really recommend you check it out. It's a very amazing story. It's um, really sad because um, just his opposition came from the um, the church that he was with. I mean, like uh, the, the Christian church. He was trying to help the church, but he was eventually killed by the church. And at the end, it does say that the Bible being translated was one of the uh, greatest victories of the Christian church, but it, it felt a little bit sad, like, because just um, because of that division in the church, a good man had to be sacrificed. So, but uh, anyway, I think um, it really shows that God puts things in our hearts that are that may be unique to us maybe sometimes it's going against um like a, what society believes in it maybe even go against uh what the church believes in uh the our people that are really close to us but still if we really have that strong calling i think as long as we're really praying and really trying to figure things out as we go along then uh we really have we Kind of have the responsibility to pursue that and um, because otherwise nobody can really take on that responsibility uh, that has come to us I think that it's since it's our calling it's kind of our responsibility to um, carry it out so anyway William Tyndale it's a great great story I really recommend it and uh, I hope you enjoy it God bless and take care.